God says, we have made each living thing from water. Water is our only capital in this region. Without water, there would be nothing here. It's water which allows us to survive. It's our reason for staying here. There are no other resources, no industry. The young are leaving the village to work in the towns. They earn more than they do here. Farming isn't enough for them because they don't make enough money. The rural exodus of which Mohammed speaks began 20 years ago. It's characteristic of all the oasis of Tafilalt. At the beginning, it only concerned the men who went to work in the towns, leaving their families in the oasis. Today, this exodus also includes the young, a generation of the right age to take over the family farms, but who no longer wish to live in the countryside like their parents. The workforce is becoming thin, leaving hectares of palm groves to become overgrown. The periods of rain shortage, now more frequent and longer, don't help matters. The result is that the palm groves dry out and easily become prey to another danger which affects the whole planet, wildfire. In the summer of 2021 in Tafilalt, three kilometers of palm groves went up in smoke in just a few hours. The climatic pressure on the oasis ecosystems is so strong that over the last few years, Morocco has lost two thirds of its oases. With this disappearance, a whole society is in danger of tumbling. Thierry Rouf, a hydrological engineer, and sociologist Mahmed Madan, and the land specialist Lassan El Mrani, are at the palm grove in the village of Bouya to better understand why the oases are receding and come up with solutions. The Qatar is right here. It runs beneath one dune, then passes under another. It's incredible. And 15 or 20 years ago, you didn't see this landscape on old documents. Everywhere there is sand here, there were palm groves before. Studies show that we're losing about two hectares, or 19 meters, each year. Sand is a danger for oases because it covers all cultivated land and water can't get through. As it covers, it makes it difficult to work the land and kills all the plants in front of it. That happens over quite an extensive area. To stop the dunes advancing, there are two methods. There's the natural method, letting weeds grow in their path, and also planting biological vegetation to stop them. And there's a mechanical method, building rammed earth walls, which is an ancestral method amongst the local population. There are fences of date palm branches. Date palms have always been the first barrier against advancing sand. Today, they are the first to be hit by successive droughts. Entire groves are disappearing. Date palms can supply us with information concerning periods of drought and periods of rainfall. You can see here that there was a humid period, meaning there was irrigation, there was sufficient water. The palm leaves are still strong. They're not easy to pull out. But here you see a period of drought, which starts here. These are easy to break. Further up is another period when water returned. And after that, another period of drought. So you can see the alternating wet years and dry years. 
For the last 20 years, this switching between periods of rain and periods of drought, which used to be a climatic rule, is no longer adhered to. Dry years are followed by even drier ones. What do you see at the bottom? I can see that the main canal is full of dirt, a lot of rubbish, a lot of plastic bags. You can see it's abandoned. This was a living place full of activity, full of people, full of women at the wash place. Now there's no more water, there's no more life. What impresses me is that the Katara is very large here. There was a large flow, then suddenly nothing. It's crazy. Yes, you can see the marks here where the water flowed. Before it came up to here, then here, then afterwards it stopped. You can see there were algae, which shows that the flow was very weak before it finally stopped. If there's no water, there will be no life here. Not for the trees, nor the birds, nor the women, nor the children, nor the men. So there's a risk of rural exodus and other problems. The palm grove of Bouya has so far been spared. But everywhere else in the region, the departure of men and the young generations is causing a chain reaction. The lack of workforce leads to lack of maintenance in the Kataras, which in turn leads to lack of water for irrigation. In 2001, a report predicted the disappearance of half the Kataras in just a few decades. In the palm groves, a growing number of farmers today consider the Kataras to be archaic and their upkeep too difficult. They're being progressively replaced by individual motorized systems for water collection, power-driven pumps. The solar power systems can run 24 hours a day, pumping directly from the phreatic zone. With the arrival of these pumps, Tafilalt has seen a surge in artificial palm groves in the middle of desert areas. Studies are categoric. Intensive use of pumping is emptying the phreatic zone. <laughs> 